What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go under the hood of a couple of Harbor Freight welding helmets and try and help you guys decide which helmet is gonna be the right choice for you. So stick around. Now I've had the Harbor Freight Titanium Unlimited 200 welder for a little over three years now. I've done a couple videos on it, long-term reviews. Used it a ton, built everything on my Jeep and the Subaru, everything with it. And this is the same helmet that I bought when Harbor Freight sent me the welder. This is a $49.99 welding helmet. It uh, is the one that had the blue flames on it. I took the blue flames off and put, you know, stickers on it. This window right here is 6.78, almost 7 inches, square inches of viewing area. It has two sensors in it and it has a couple of uh, adjustments, sensitivity and delay. It has a ratcheting headband that it's fairly comfortable. I mean, it's okay for 50 bucks. It's not the best and it's not the worst. Um, but this thing has never failed on me. It's never not turned on. So it's never messed my eyes up. Um, it's reliable and it works. My two complaints about this is the narrow window of viewing. It makes it difficult uh, in some cases to see where you're at what you're doing because it's so small and it's very dark like it's hard to see I basically a lot of the times I have to have a flashlight basically on where I'm welding I don't remember having that issue when I first got this but over time it's slowly getting where I can't see as well out of it so it was time to replace it and I actually went to Harbor Freight not expecting to buy a welding helmet I was buying some cutoff wheels and I saw this guy, the Vulcan Arc Safe, and decided uh, to buy it and try it out to see if I think it's any better. Is it worth the $160 or just stick with this guy right here? Now, there are a lot of options at Harbor Freight for uh, welding helmets. This is not the cheapest one. There is a $34 one that's a fixed one. I would not do that. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Not waste your $34 on that. Uh, there's a couple in between, some that's 75 bucks, one that's 99 bucks. So this guy has four sensors in it and it is a 10.1 square inch viewing window. You can see that this is much larger viewing window in this. I put this on for the first time and I was amazed at how clear and I could see the adjustable headband is much more elaborate, has a lot more big pads and more adjustment, and it is way super comfy. Uh, I won't lie, have it on for hours welding. This guy is way more comfortable. I can actually see, uh, which is amazing. So let's get in and I will show you what it looks like inside the helmet while I'm looking around and welding. And I'll try and put them side by side on the screen so you can see exactly the difference between what you see in this and what you see in this when you have it on and then when you're welding with it. And obviously for $160, this thing has way more knobs and buttons and adjustability. I just went down the chart that came with uh, the helmet and just turned everything to what the recommended setting with, was for what I'm doing, MIG welding, and I haven't touched it since, and it's been fine. So another piece of safety equipment is your gloves. I use these uh, Vulcan Defender gloves from Harbor Freight. They're cheap. These are the same ones that I bought when I bought that helmet and I got the welder like more than three years ago and I need to replace these. So these are the TIG gloves. They're really cheap. Uh, so I don't know why I haven't bought a new pair already. I know this thing looks brand new, but the Subaru bumper that I built, I used this helmet the whole time. So I have a few hours under this helmet, not three years like this helmet, but bottom line is guys, I would not spend my money on this helmet again if this one was out. I don't think this helmet was even out three years ago. I would not spend $50 on this helmet, 
now knowing how this one operates, how well I can see the, the viewing window, just so much superiority in this helmet. It is so much better, guys. Uh, I would maybe buy this to have an extra one laying around for your friends who are gonna hang out in the garage with you or have a backup or something like that. But as my main welding helmet, I would not buy this one again. I would definitely spend the extra $100 and buy a good welding helmet, even if it's not Harbor Freight. Well, that's gonna be it for the short video. Hope you guys learned a little bit and helped you guys decide uh, where to spend your money. Uh, this helmet, I do believe, is on sale until the 24th of this month, so maybe like another week after this video comes out. They're like 129 the MIG-170, which is almost similar to mine, except not the multi-process welder, is on sale. I don't know what the price is. Harbor Freight has coupons for all those right now. So if you're interested in getting a hold of this helmet for cheaper and getting a hold of the MIG-170 welder, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps us out in the algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to my other channel, Muddy Beards Racing, where I am TDI swapping, a Mazda RX-7. I'll leave that link in the description as well. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Muddy Beards 4x4. We've got a website, we've got shirts, stickers, uh, stuff like that, Amazon store. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you on the trail. Ray, don't that beat going crazy.